Hey guys, Eli from Dude Again Games here. We're going to do a really quick tutorial on how to perform jumps. Maybe you just got up in the space and you you're, don't know how to go anywhere or do anything. So the answer is, is you hit B on your keyboard. Once you hit B, you'll see blue and red icons. The blue are things you can jump to. See, those are all the planets far in the distance. And then there might be things even a lot closer to you, like this one, that are red, Omega 2. I have no line of sight. The drive can't actually get connected for whatever reason. It'll charge up, but it will never actually let me jump there because it's obscured. So in that case, say something's obscured, what you do is you would find something close to it that you could jump to, or you'd move out away from the shadow of the planet, for example. So let's make a short jump here. So another tip is you can hit C on your keyboard and it will turn on basically cruise control. And once you're lined up, you'll see both the spooling complete and calibration. And then you will hold B. Don't tap B, it'll make everything go away again. And you'll have to spool up your power all over again. It's easy to do in a panic when you're being chased by a bunch of annoying bad guys for whatever reason. And you can hold B. It'll realign your ship in this case. It'll take you around the planet. Now you got to be careful because I accidentally left my um, auto my auto thrust on. You can see it on the left hand of the screen right there, right here. That I just turned it off, so when I come back, I won't automatically be in thrust mode. In many cases, uh, blacking out and going straight towards the surface of the planet so we'll be able to see here we jumped out of quantum and now if we hit B again there, see how these you'll have some objects are obscured that one's too close in this case but see now it got me to a position where I can fly to the station but sometimes you'll have to pull out the atmosphere some it's helpful to hit C for thrust and then hit shift and it will lock it so you can so you can just fly up in the atmosphere till you're high enough. I'll give you an example. You can use your boost as well by hitting shift to propel yourself out of the atmosphere. You gotta be careful. Sometimes you'll start to black out, particularly when you're going in the atmospheres, um, if you accelerate too quickly. Pretty soon we should see a lot of these icons um, around the screen that are red go blue. can just now to get higher in the atmosphere if there's something you can jump to you can just for example like this make a short little jump and jump to the station now be careful when you approach a station not to fly at it straight on kind of go above or below so you can do turn around and do a burn to stop more quickly now if you want to jump somewhere farther away you can hit F2 to bring up your map let's say you wanted to go to ARC L1 so you can select without everything in this game this map is the worst so we'll go here you can click on it you'll see it's selected because the blue line of its orbit is selected and sometimes you won't get a green line like you're supposed to which is always a lot of fun let me try so if you don't get a green line hop back in hop back out and there you go. Now I have a green line that I didn't have before. Uh, I am spinning for reasons that are beyond me. Let's see here. That was a fun glitch. Okay. So I'm going to take off my cruise control so I can stop. Hit F2 again. You'll see that you get a dotted line. And then to set the route, you just go up to the top and hit set route. I'll make a solid line. And then when you hit B... It will take away all of the objects that you do not have selected. So, for example, the only object I can go to is here, but it's actually obscured. So I might have to go somewhere else in order to get to it. There could be an object between me and it for some reason. Let's see here. Doesn't look like it, but it sure thinks there is. We'll try over here. So 
when this happens, what you want to do is you want to hit F2, clear your route, and then all these icons are going to come back. So then if you can jump to somewhere nearby, for example, a, a point around the planet, it should get you to the right angle so you can jump to other places. Oh, there's that. And now we can try again. Go here. Click. Hit set route. And now we can jump there. Why it doesn't work sometimes and why it does is beyond me. But that's how you basically navigate. Same thing. If you hit B, you'll jump. The so we're going to give it just a second and I'll show you how if you get canceled for some reason you can you should be able to get back in so in this case I'm going to get a little bit away from the planet I'll get like a few hundred thousand kilometers and I'll hit B and I fell out so now if you now the only icon you're going to be able to see let's say you wanted to go back to the planet for whatever reason because you forgot something like me you can hit clear route you can click back on the planet, hit set route. All things, sometimes it does not work. And there you go. You should be able to see a lot of places to jump to again, so at least you're not stuck. So in this case, please, this is where I want to go to, right? There we go. And then we can go to there. That's a short little tutorial on the basics of how to jump and how to get around, how to use the map to navigate. The map is very broken, it's confusing. A lot of times you're gonna tap B instead of holding B or you'll hold it and it won't work and then you gotta release and hold it again and then it will engage not engaging for the same reason sometimes it'll seem like there's no object between you and another object and it'll say obscured anyways it can be very glitchy but hopefully this was helpful on clearing up some of the glitchiness so you'll be able to play thank you for watching use my referral code if you're new and haven't played before i appreciate you guys checking out my video like subscribe share um I, i'm making a much greater effort to make more content so if you like my little short tutorials and the how to's I appreciate you taking a look and I appreciate if you share with a friend the idea is to have some videos where you go how do I do this particular thing and you can send your friend a link of the video so they can see how it's done thanks have a great day thanks for being wonderful